Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me. This is your host ID Jester. This is just going to be a short video kind of helping out a few players out there. I've noticed a lot of people doing some John Tiller games and thought I would just bring a couple things to people's attentions in case you didn't know that. Uh, so first things first, you can head over to the John Tiller uh, website. Um, go to the home page here. If you scroll down on the left hand side to the resources and frequently asked questions part, uh, they have a lot of good information with different websites and clubs about frequently asked questions and all kinds of stuff. But uh, the main thing I'm looking at here is the menu program. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this menu program and we're going to save it and it's doesn't take very long and then we're going to go ahead and run this folder uh, okay well what I want to do here is then you're going to uh, install this into your specific spot that you have all of your John Tiller games so you can see here <clears throat> I actually have my John Taylor games in my D drive and I have a folder called John Taylor software and that's where I have all of my different games. So what I'm going to do is install it to my D drive, John Taylor software. So instead of C drive, we're going to put this as D, uh, let's try that again, D, uh, John Taylor software. So yours might be different depending on where you install your software. You're going to have to check and see the location. You can actually use the browse button as well to do this, uh, where you would go to your PC, you would go to your D drive, you would find your folder that everything is in and select that and say, okay. And then you're gonna unzip it. And it's gonna give five files unzipped and you're gonna say, okay, and close. So you're done with that. Now all you have to do is go back to your John Tiller folder and inside your folder you should see these five files, the fade, the icon, the menu, the menu, and the menu. What you're going to look for is the button that says JT menu. And what this does is it will actually scan your folder for all your different games. So I can actually just create, uh, or I can just load up this one program and have access to all of my John Taylor games. So if I wanted to play Moscow, I could click on that. And it shows me all of the subfolder uh, options. So I can click on the main program or the designer notes or the scenario editor or whatever I want to do. And you can switch back and forth from any of your games this way. It's quickly and easily. So once you have that, what you want to do is just right click on your menu and just right click and drag it over to your desktop and let go. And it'll give you an option to copy, move, or create shortcuts. So you want to create your shortcut there. So now I just leave this on my desktop. Anytime I want to play any of my John Taylor games, I just double click it. It'll bring up the menu. And I have access to all of my different John Taylor games. So that's the first thing I noticed a lot of people not using and probably didn't know about. I didn't know about it until a little while ago. The second thing we're going to talk to is about exactly what we just came across there, and that is the incredible sound system that's built into this. There is no option to change the, um, the sound settings inside of the John Tiller software programs that I know of anyways, uh, but you can change the sound. Uh, you know, when you play it, just normal uh, by yourself and you got the sounds and the music playing and everything and it sounds okay but when you record it for other people and they're trying to hear your commentation and all that the sound is way too loud so there is a way to adjust that the way i would recommend you do it is just come down in the bottom right hand corner and to your speaker icon and right click on it and you can go into your volume mixer right and when the volume mixer comes up you're going to use this little bar, and you can see over here is the John Taylor game, uh, whatever game you're you have currently open. And I would turn that way down, probably down in the, like the 10 to 15 range when you're recording. Again, if you're playing at home and you're not recording, 
You can play it as loud as you want, but if you're recording, it can be very, very loud, uh, the background sounds and stuff. So now if we open a scenario here, uh, sure, we'll just open that one. That's fine, right? And now we, uh, we start to do things. Hopefully the sound won't be, uh, who can we move? You're disrupted. Can you move? You should be able to move. Why can't you move? Uh, must be in travel mode, right? You have to be in travel mode. All right, command, go to travel mode now. Can you move? Just trying to have the enemy. Uh, you're disrupted, which means you can't move closer. You're broken. All oh, uh, right, so that was a kind of a uh, sure. Let's just end the turn and let the. So hopefully you can hear the sound is a little bit lower. And even for me at that point, it's still pretty high. And... Oh, it's because it's not actually... Okay, so what we're going to have to do is close out. No, I don't want to... All right, so what is what that was doing, so this is a good uh, example. So what I had actually clicked on was this menu program. So what I have to do is actually wait until I actually load up a game. So let's go ahead and load up a game now. Uh, we'll just choose the scenario. Sure, that one's fine. That's why the sound wasn't adjusting. All righty. So it was a good learning example for you guys. <laughs> All right, so now what we want to do, right-click our volume mixer again. Now that the program's actually loaded in, it should be softer. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can get the enemy to shoot. No, they don't want to shoot. Of course they don't want to shoot. Why would they want to shoot? Oh, let's just have it go on to automatic. That's fine. So yeah, you can definitely tell the volume is a lot softer. In fact, it might even you can even see the little bar go on the floor. I didn't even turn it down to maybe seven or yeah so you need to turn it way way down because the volume is just through the roof and hopefully uh you can still hear it in the background a little bit going as i'm talking but it makes it a little easier for us us youtubers to play john tiller games uh and also commentate and talk while while the game is progressing so so I just thought I would throw out a couple of those tricks for people um, that are playing John Taylor games. Make sure you get the menu program. It really only takes you like 10 seconds to install it. It makes it really easily, uh, makes it really easy for you to, um, you know, have access to all your games. And, you know, I can switch back and forth between them really quickly. Um, And when I load up another new program, just keep in mind that it won't keep the settings from the other one. You're going to have to actually go in and adjust your volume again every time you load up a new game. Oh, it did actually keep it uh, because of the, probably because of the menu program. It won't do that if you don't have the menu program running, I bet. Uh, but you can see, right click, go to volume mixer. You can see my volume set way down. So if we just say go, go. You can hear, like I said, I'm already down to all the way down to like seven, eight percent. And it's still, I mean, I can hear it just fine. And I'll probably listen to it after I do this video just to, just to see how loud it is. But if you're doing a YouTube broadcast, you want to make sure you crank it way, way, way down so people can hear you. 
All right, so there it is. That's a couple of tips and tricks for the John Tiller games. Hopefully people will continue playing them and showing them online because they're really good games. Really fun to play and really adept. Have a lot of meat to them and of course, a ton of scenarios and lots of replayability. So we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.